So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's class guys, we'll be talking about the PIB news from 1st to 2nd of April 2023. And yes, these PIB sessions are important for all the government exams, especially for the ESI part, economic and social issue part of the regulatory bodies examination like RBA grade B and NABAT grade A, right? But uh, PIB is the most authentic source of the current affairs. So it becomes, which makes it the most important source of the current affairs for all the government examinations, right? So yeah, let's begin with the session without any delay. And let's talk about the very first question, which is a very, very important question. Ministry of Education has conducted the first foundational literacy and numeracy assessment test, which in short is FL NAT under Nav Bharat Sakshartha Karyakram. Now you must be wondering what is this Nav Bharat Sakshartha Karyakram? Don't worry. This is nothing but New India Literacy Program, which was launched last year, right? Across 10 states and UTs to assess the basic reading, writing and numeracy skills of the new literates. So which of the following states or UTs were covered in the first FLNAT? Okay. So this was the first uh, edition of Foundational Literacy and Numeracy Assessment Test. And it was held under the New India Literacy Program, which now they are calling in Hindi as Nav Bharat Sakshartha Karyakram, right? Remember under this program, New India Literacy Program, this FLN 80, FL NAT will be conducted two times a year, right? Twice a year, it will be conducted by the Ministry of Education. And in the very first edition of FLN 80, more than 22.7 lakh learners participated, right? And this test was conducted to assess the basic reading, writing and numeracy skills of the new literates. Okay. Now, uh, these participants were from the 10 states, which are 10 states and UT, which are Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Ladakh. Odisha, Jharkhand, Punjab, Meghalaya and Chandigarh, right? And maximum number of learners, more than 9 lakh were from Madhya Pradesh, right? And now since we are talking about New India Literacy Program, so let's talk about this also because you never know that New India Literacy Program so question aja. So remember, as the name says, New India Literacy Program is for imparting foundational literacy and numeracy, critical life skills, basic education and vocational skills to the citizens of the nation. It was launched last year, 2022 by the Ministry of Education and the targets under the scheme uh, will be achieved by financial year 2027, which means the scheme will be continued till financial year 2026-27. That is up to 31st March 2027, right? It is a centrally sponsored scheme with a total outlay of 1037.90 crores. And what is the meaning of centrally sponsored scheme? Centrally sponsored scheme means the funding, the amount is shared between the center and the states, right? While if any scheme is a central sector scheme, if there is a central sector scheme, hoti hai, then in that scheme, the entire funding is borne by the central government, right? So since it is a centrally sponsored scheme, so central share is 700 crores and state share is 337.90 crore. The target groups which have been targeted under this program is all the non-literates of age 15 years and above in the country, right? And the target is to train 1 crore learners per year and the total number of learners which will be trained under the scheme is 5 crores, right? Now remember it is being implemented through volunteerism mode that is by volunteer teachers through online mode. So any teacher who wants to give training to these uh, illiterate people, uh, they can uh, voluntarily join this program and the, the teaching, the learning, the training is being provided using Atlas, which is online teaching, learning and assessment system in collaboration with NIC, NCERT and National Institute of Open Schooling, right? And there are five components of it, which are foundational literacy and numeracy, critical life skills, basic educational, vocational skills and continuing education, right? So you have to remember these five components as well. These are also very important. All right. So now let's come back to the question. So which of the following states were covered in first FLNAT? Bihar, uh, no, Bihar is not there. Ladakh is there. Uttar Pradesh is there. Chandigarh is there. And Madhya Pradesh is obviously there because the uh, largest number of learners were from Madhya Pradesh. So two, three, four and five is the correct answer. Option D. All right. Option D is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number two. What is the name of the app version of national logistic portal Marine? which has been recently launched by the Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways to provide easier access to functionalities on a handheld device. So it is uh, basically the app version of National Logistic Portal. The name is Sagar Setu app. What is the name? 
Sagar Setu app and it will provide easier access to functionalities on a handheld device. Now, what type of uh, uh, easier access will it provide? It will provide real time information of activities to the importers, to the exporters, to the custom brokers, to other custom officers, to all the stakeholders of the Exim ecosystem, right? It, it will also provide vessel related information, container, fleet station and transactions on the finger trip, right? And it will also enable the digital transaction for payments, which is required for clearance process of import or export like container, fleet station charges, shipping charges, transportation charges, etc. Okay? So that is all about Sagar Setu app. You just have to name the remember, uh, just, yes, you just have to remember the name. Sagar Setu app is the correct answer option A. Question number three, pe chalte hai. very, very important question. Limit on ceiling for guarantees under recently revamped credit guarantee scheme for micro and small enterprises has been announced from two crore to how many crores. So credit guarantee scheme for micro and small enterprises, we had last class. Mein hi padha tha. And if you guys remember in this year's budget, 23, 24 budget, the finance minister had announced that this credit guarantee scheme for micro and small enterprises will be revamped. So this, uh, you know, this scheme has now been revamped as per the decisions, as per the announcement of the union budget 2023-24. And in the revamped scheme following, these are some of the new provisions. Number one, in the corpus of credit guarantee fund trust for micro and small enterprises, 8,000 crore rupees has been infused, right? So if you guys remember in the last class, we have discussed that this scheme is being implemented by credit guarantee fund trust for micro and small enterprises, which is the managed by SIDBI and government of India, which is managed by SIDBI and government of India. So in, in this trust, 8,000 crore rupees have been infused reduction of annual guarantee fee for loans for loan up to rupees one crore from a peak rate of 2% per annum to as low as 0.3%, 37% per annum. Then the limit fee on the ceiling for guarantees earlier, the loan, the guarantee was uh, given on the loan up to rupees two crores. Now this amount has been raised to five crores, right? And this will motivate the, the, you know, the micro and small enterprises, uh, people, uh, they can, they, you know, they will, they will have more amount of loan from the, uh, from the financial institutions and financial institutions will also feel secure because this credit guarantee fund trust will provide guarantee for the loans up to rupees five crores, right? And legal proceedings are now not required for settlement of claims in respect of guarantees for loan up to rupees 10 lakh. Thus, lakh rupay tak ki agar koi uh, loan outstanding hota hai, to usme koi legal proceeding ki requirement nahi hogi, right? So this is guys very, very important. I believe isme se aapke exam mein question aana chahiye. So it has been increased from two crores to five crores. Option A is the correct answer. Question number four, pe aa hai. again, an important question, India Post Payment Bank in collaboration with telecom company or companies has launched WhatsApp banking services for the customers of the bank to enable them to access banking services on their mobile phone. So this is a very direct question, right? So this collaboration has been done with Airtel, right? Airtel ke saath collaboration hua hai India Post Payment Bank ka, and it will enable the customers of India Post Payment Bank to access banking services on their mobile phone. And with the help of this services, they, they will be able to seamlessly connect with the bank on WhatsApp and they can avail uh, a large number of banking services through their mobile phone only. Okay, ji. So the correct answer will be option C, Airtel. Airtel is the correct answer. Question number five, Department of Financial Services. And guys, today there is no more news, nahi hai, but almost all the news are very, very important today. So today's session is basically that it's a small but important news. Hai. So don't try to ignore today's session. So Department of Financial Services under the Ministry of Finance has launched three months long campaign starting from 1st April to 30th June 2023 to boost and achieve saturation of <coughs> I'm sorry, micro insurance schemes at Gram Panchayat level. Which of the following social security schemes is are covered under this campaign? So basically the question is uh, for which Micro insurance scheme, the campaign has been launched. So remember guys, uh, this campaign will run from 1st April to 30th June 2023 and the micro insurance schemes for which this campaign has been launched are Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana and Suraksha Bhima Yojana, right? Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana is for accidental insurance, right? On the death of, uh, on the accidental death of the beneficiary, 2 lakh rupees covered, 
टू लाख रुपीज इज प्रोवाइडेड ऑन अ प्रीमियम ऑफ जस्ट रुपीज ट्वेंटी प्रीमियम कितना है इसमें बीस रुपए का वाइल प्रधानमंत्री जीवन ज्योति बीमा योजना इस इस बेसिकली लाइफ इंश्योरेंस स्कीम लाइफ इंश्योरेंस स्कीम टू लाख कवर इज प्रोवाइडेड अंडर इट एंड द प्रीमियम अंडर प्रधानमंत्री जीवन ज्योति बीमा योजना इज फोर हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्स राइट सो द टू स्कीम्स आर पी एम जे जे बी वाई एंड एस बी वाई सो ए एंड बी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन ई एंड नाउ वाइज लेट्स मूव अहेड टू द क्वेश्चन इन शॉर्ट विच डू नॉट नीड मच एक्सप्लेनेशन दे आर डायरेक्ट इन नेचर बट uh do not uh, underestimate the questions in short uh you never know ki isme se koi utke question aa jaye directly theek hai but before that if you want to have the pdf of this session you can join the telegram channel the link is in description so many people are were asking in the comment section in the last class that where they can have the access to the pdf so guys pdf has pdfs are provided in the telegram channel anujindal dot in the link is in description question number 6 very very important how much Amount government will borrow during the first half of financial year 23-24 out of gross marketing borrowing of 15.43 lakh crore, which has been projected for this financial year in the union budget. So the government has uh, uh, made public. The government has made public its borrowing uh, borrowing targets for the first half of financial year 23-24, and out of the total projected uh, market borrowing of 15.43 lakh crore, 8.88 lakh crore will be borrowed in the first half right and out of this 150000 crore will be through the ways and means advances from rbi theek hai so 8.8 lakh crores 8.88 lakh crores is the correct answer then jo baki isme provision diye sarkar ne these are not important for the examination so don't worry question number 7 where has ministry of tourism organized chintan shivir tourism in mission mode convergence and public private partnership remember ministry of tourism has organized the chintan shivir in the capital New Delhi is the correct answer. Question number eight again, very very important. How many cities are targeted to begin become three star garbage free by October two thousand and twenty four? Right. This was announced by the Minister of uh, Housing and Urban Affairs, Hardeep Singh Puri. Hardeep Singh Puri is also the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Right. So thousand cities are targeted to become three star garbage free by October two thousand and twenty four. option c is the correct answer question number 9 ministry of finance recently has given full exemption from basic custom duties on all drugs and food for special medical purposes imported for personal use for treatment of all the rare diseases under the national policy for rare disease so the question is about the uh, year in which the national policy for rare diseases announced so it was announced in the year 2021 option b is the correct answer and the last question for today again an important question ntpc limited which is india's largest integrated power generator it has registered the highest ever power generation of how many billion units in financial year 23 the previous financial year which is a growth of around 11% theek hai ji with respect to the previous year so this is 400 billion units right 400 billion units ka highest ever power generation hua hai ntpc limited ke dwara theek hai ji So that is all for today's class, guys. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next class on Friday. Till then, keep studying and keep studying hard. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.